place is a little bit of a mess. But look at this. Oh yeah. I've just finally, for the first time ever, got a drone working. Which I've built myself. Uh, you won't find this frame anywhere because it is something from two years ago. I think it was some kind of early Eosheen model and I stuck both levels onto one platform with Araldite. That's right, it's a total Frankenstein. Anyway, um, this was a build I was, I've mentioned in a couple of other videos where I was using the Raystar F4S 30 amp BL Halley uh, D Shot 4 in 1 PDB OSD ECS flight controller. Had issues with the S-Bus um, pad uh, having soldered to it, it lifted off the board and I tried to solder directly where it had come off and it just wasn't happening. I uh, listened to Drone Mesh, he talked about some issues with the S-Bus also that his stayed on but it you know, didn't have the same issue but he couldn't get it working. And so I found the RX which is next to the boot button on the board um, on the 4-in-1 Raystar F4S. 30 amp and I use that and I still use the positive and ground or negative terminal next to the S-Bus port and wired it straight into my um, my receiver now that receiver is just the Fly Sky receiver um, I always forget the name of it it's a, um, Oh, I can't even find it right now. So anyway, that's trivial. That's sort of not why I was actually doing this. I just really wanted to say that the board seems to be fine. Um, I did run, these are old engines. These are like the B, BE1806 um, 2300KV from years ago because I was going to build one years ago and I just thought, oh, you know what? Um, I was looking at Afro... ESCs and and just all all the um, issues with um, flashing software and stuff and I just thought oh look I just haven't got time to go through this learning curve so apparently someone said these motors um, can run on 4s I tried that and man it was just wanting to rip out of my hand it was really powerful but I noticed the motors got really in my opinion too hot and I hadn't even I only did about you know three punch outs so to speak, um, full throttle with it in my hand, and I just thought that's way too hot. Um, go back to 3s, but I really thought it wouldn't carry this 3s battery. I just thought no way, it's too heavy. Well, this thing just wants to launch still on 3s. So um, anyway, it's a great. From what I've seen so far, I haven't had any issues with this 4n1. Um, apart from what I thought was a disaster with the S-Bus pad falling off. But, you know, fortunately they, there's another way around that. If that wasn't there, it would have been really disappointing. And also Drone Mesh mentions these tools and I didn't want to buy them. I thought, oh, what a waste of money. I'll just use, you know, something simple like this little all-in-one. Um, but um, now she's going to start singing to me. But these tools, honestly, I... Look, they are fantastic. They really are worth purchasing. They're not expensive. I think they're eleven dollars, which is you know fairly cheap. And it's good to have dedicated sizes. So, and I've found them already incredibly useful. Kind of went to buy them, took his advice, and got them in the end. Um, just oh, save money, save money. Bought one of those tools, um, something like this. I'll just show you if you can put up with that beeping where you, you just you know you change the ends, you put in a different tip each time and uh, you know you just slip a tip in and it's it, it is um, it's got a ratchet system but you know what what a waste of time you really don't need something like that so um, yeah basically I'll just turn this on so oh come on just find this fly sky controller quite difficult to push the button on for some reason it's always so you know it's Anyway, so let's see if she can. There we go. Great. Look at that black pattern back because of the writing. Looks so disgusting, doesn't it? Telling yourself which one's what. 
but very helpful if you're a newbie like me. I don't really care what people think, so, you know, stick it up your nose because it makes him even look better. So I've got myself a nice fan at the moment, um, but, yeah, it, it really seems like this is going to, for, for these size motors, a 2300 kV, I don't think I'd really want to go above 3S and um, give it a go. I think for a new, this is going to be a nice little fun quad that'll probably last all of 10 minutes and crash and smash the motors off. I notice on the 4S, when I fully throttled these up, they were flexing these motors on the end. And that's because I've actually got two frames stuck together, but right out on the tip is where the frames end. And so I think there's going to be an issue. But, hey, you know what? can't be more happy than what I am seeing that so you'll give it a go not sure when but we'll post that soon um, I haven't got a video on here at the moment so I might not be able to include video I um, might wait till I have I'm not don't really care I just um, really want to fly and have some fun with it so um, yeah who wants to see the crash I guess everyone hey they're good fun watching people crash um, all right, leave it at that. Thanks for watching, and um, yeah, go ahead and get those tools that Drone Mesh mentions on his side. I think he always has them listed there, mentioning them. They're really worth it, and so is the race staff um, F4S. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be testing this for noise. Um, I think uh, Drone Mesh ran this with a capacitor and. Um, what else? I think some other filter. Um, I have got a couple little capacitors down here and I might stick them on at some point and you know that will be for run video obviously. Um, so I'll sign off for now and leave it at that. Bye.